Traditional houses in Haiti, such as these, built in wood and mud, are not weatherproof and often lack comfort. Gradually, the demand for housing made out of cement blocks is growing, even in the poorest areas. Cement blocks can be quickly made with the appropriate tools. You just have to mix unrefined sand with cement and water and pack down the mixture into a block mold, making sure that the mixture is compact so as to obtain solid blocks. Apart from these standard blocks, other kinds can be created by modifying the shape of the mold. Each kind of block has a specific use, for example, ensuring the ventilation of a house, creating windows, or making decorative walls. The tools needed for this work are string, a hammer, a trowel, and a spirit level. And of course, you need cement. The cement serves to fix the blocks in place. At each stage, the workman has to check the stability, symmetry and precision of his work. The string means you can place the blocks and ensure their exact position. Thanks to this technique, it's possible to build both straight walls and corners. The cement lintels allow for more solid window frames, thereby saving on precious and scarce wood. To make a lintel, hollow moulds are lined up and a metal structure placed inside. The cement mix is then put into the moulds, covering the metal structure and left to dry. When dry, the cement blocks are solid and stuck together, creating a strong cover for the metal bar and a frame for the window. In overcrowded neighbourhoods, such as Bayergeau in Port-au-Prince, the installation of latrines is a matter of necessity. P. 
Pierre Bien-Aimé, in charge of construction, orders curved blocks of cement to construct an evacuation well for some latrines. He shows the place chosen by the families who are to use the latrines. It's they who will dig the hole for the well. The latrine bowl will be placed on a platform made of two slabs of concrete. To make these slabs, Pierre prepares a structure of metal wires. This fixes the cement inside the mold. To prevent the cement from sticking, the two molds are covered in oil. A bottle is placed at the center of one of the molds so as to create the necessary space for an evacuation tube from the bowl to the well. Pierre carefully mixes the concrete made up of white sand, unrefined sand and cement. He checks the consistency and makes sure that the mixture is not too liquid. This mix is then spread out into the mold, onto and under the metal structure. It's worked in to remove any air bubbles. Pierre pats the mix with a piece of wood and smooths the surface of the concrete. The next day the slabs are ready and Pierre can lift out the bottle and take off the mold. He shows everyone how the bowl will be laid. The 120 curved blocks of cement which are needed for making the latrine well are also ready. The men of the area begin to place them one on top of the other. Step by step the well is built. The blocks are not cemented together, so the liquid can drain through them. Only solid waste remains in the well, which can be emptied once a year. The platform, with the lavatory, can then be placed on top of the well. And that's it, the latrines are ready. You only need a gallon of water or three litres to clean them. Corrugated iron, although useful, doesn't protect houses properly. Often used for roofing, it doesn't weather very well, particularly in the wind. An alternative exists in the shape of tiles made out of vibrated concrete. These are light, strong and cheap to make. These tiles are made in Kai Mel. The mixture for this tile is made out of two quarters of unrefined sand, a quarter of fine sand and a last quarter of cement. Exactly. 
tête, ici, tiens, de se mettre en tête, mais là, ici, on la met ici. Paul Colon places a plastic sheet on a vibrating plaque. A metal frame is then placed onto this plastic. He puts his mixture into the frame and spreads it evenly on the surface. He then starts up the machine. The vibrating machine works with an irregular jerking movement. Its vibrations shake the mixture and make it compact. The surfaces have to be smooth, particularly the surface touching the plastic. A small square-shaped hook in cement is placed at the top near the edge of the tile to allow it to be hooked to the roof beams. Paul then lays his vibrated concrete onto a purpose-built shape that will help the rainwater to run off it. He pierces a small hole in the cement hook to pass the attaching wire through. After a night on the shape, the tiles are then soaked in a tub for a week, which strengthens them and prevents them from cracking. De la même manière, on voit ici, on a fait sortir le plastique. Ouais, ça c'est l'effet de la vibration et le plastique. Il y a des ensembles, puis on les met ici. Ici, il puisse passer à peu près une semaine. Paul can also add colouring of different shades, green, red and yellow, to brighten up the tiles, embellishing and also protecting the houses of the region.